guys, welcome to How To Infuse. Today we're going to take a look at modifying this existing kitchen light into an LED fixture. Uh, it was starting to get pretty dark in here and we took off the covering to see how many bulbs we had out and we have three of them out, only one working. Uh, so I decided let's go ahead and take the hit and buy an LED kit. It ran around $65. There are some cheap ones available but uh, you know, there's always that <laughs> balancing cost and quality issue. So these came with a three-year warranty, I think, and then the option to give them your email and information and extend that warranty for free for 10 years. So I think that's a pretty good deal, 10 years. But the catch is that the LED lights no longer use the ballast. And that's a shame because if you look back, you'll find a video on how to change uh, the ballast because this one's really not that old. Um, but we have to disconnect that balance to use these bulbs and actually straight wire uh, the connectors called tombstones on each side. You've probably seen those before. They look like little upside down tombstones. Um, directly to the power that's coming uh, out of the ceiling or from the wall switch. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, let you look real quick at these LED bulbs. They're kind of cool. And then we'll go ahead and do some uh, disconnection of the power and then start on the uh, project. All right, here's the replacement bulbs that came from Amazon in a Hypericon, Hypericon brand box. And if we look at them, I chose the four feet 6,000 uh, K should be a really bright white light which is what we wanted for the kitchen uh, the LED strips with a plastic covering and then an aluminum backing they have connectors on both sides although these connectors are connected to each other so you don't want to alternate the uh, current here uh, there's instructions that come with it that are pretty clear but they also tell you that you shouldn't be doing this yourself you should get a licensed uh, electrician and you know as, as always I'm going to recommend you do that same this is more of a uh, do as I say not as I do and conveniently comes with some stickers uh, to put uh, on the fixture on the inside to warn uh, the person who comes after you because there is an issue here if you try to go back to the old bulbs uh, there's a risk of uh, shorting uh, things out and possibly hurting yourself so it's it's it's, uh, it's kind of uh, <laughs> very prudent that you make the people aware coming after you or uh, in your household that they should not attempt to replace these bulbs back to fluorescent bulbs without first uh, connecting the balance the ballast back the way that it was originally All right, first thing we're going to do is turn off the electricity here. There's only one switch that operates it, so uh, if you're doing this, you probably should disconnect your breaker. So again, do as I say, not as I do. I'll stick a little bit of tape on here just in case a family member decides to come by and flip it up while I'm on the ladder. So again, probably not the best safety precaution, but uh, that's how we're going to run this. All right, for the next step, I'm going to go ahead and remove these bulbs. working in the dark. We'll go ahead and remove this cover. Alright, it reveals our ballast. We've got a neutral and a hot wire connected to the balance and then we have 
red. It looks like we have plenty of extra wire on that side. Pretty good on this side too. Alright, so ultimately what we're going to do is bypass this ballast by connecting straight to our uh, hot wire. I guess I can undo that now. I'm going to leave the ballast in place. Still good. All right, slightly adjusted the camera. I'm gonna try to maximize the amount of wire that I'm keeping on the ballast for the next guy. So I'm gonna make some cuts. Place these. This is the yellow side. I don't know how much you saw of that, but I clipped it. I spliced them and then just twisted them together because they're going to wire nut uh, together. These are going to get stored. Go ahead and make my wire nut connection here. And that's going to be the white neutral. To the two yellow sides. Yours might be different colors, but the yellow side have uh, two wires coming off, whereas the uh, the hot side is going to have uh, twice as many. Wasn't able to leave very much wire there, but just taping that up to hold it. It's not really a, a permanent solution, but once I have the cap back on it, it's not really important if this comes loose. I just need it to stay uh, while I'm doing the work, and then once I cover it back up. All right, more splices to make. Actually, splice these a little longer. They are not cooperating though. Because this is going to be a total of five wires, four thin. And one thick. Alright, 
all four wires together. Now let's see if this wire nut can handle this. Trying to make sure that they're secure, and they do seem to be. All right, so believe it or not, uh, we are wired as per instructions, and we are ready to reinsert our ballast cover. I want to make sure we don't crimp or catch any wires. For the exciting part, the bulbs. Oh, forgot to take off the safety caps on the chin. Just little plastic covers that slide off. So these install exactly like the original. The only thing different is that instead of uh, the ballast changing the voltage that runs through them. running straight 110. Alright, so on the off chance that you have a single side input where these tombstones are only live or have electricity on one side, then you would have had to purchase a single side uh, LED bulb. Um, all I can say is that if you're not sure, if you're not positively 100% sure of what you ordered, what you need, and how it goes in, please seek a licensed professional to do the work for you because I'd hate uh, for anything to happen to your house or worse for you to injure yourself in the process of trying to save a few bucks. All right, we should be good to go. It's a moment of truth. I'm gonna walk straight down and flip the switch. Uh, there's no hidden mirrors here or anything. Uh, they're either all going to light up, <laughs> or we're going to have to see what's wrong. Whew! Man. <laughs> okay, well, they're all lighting up, and that is mighty bright. We're not going to have any problems seeing anything in the kitchen. Alright, final step. If I could stand it. Damn. It's 
still dusty. All right. All right, so there we go. That's all there is to it. Um, swapped out the old fluorescent bulbs, disconnected the ballast, put new LED bulbs in, uh, ran it straight to the 110, and then put everything back together. We chose to go with the brightest lights, and it's pretty bright. Um, that part doesn't disappoint, <laughs> but uh, I'm not sure what the wife's going to think about the brightness, in particular uh, the way the fixture looks. The lights are, are very bright and you can see the banding uh, through it. So uh, instead of the regular fluorescent bulbs where you kind of got uh, a look as if the entire box was illuminated equally, you can distinctly see uh, the LED bulbs running in four sheets, but maybe we'll get used to it. That would be my only con on the job. Obviously I'm looking forward to saving a little bit of electricity. Uh, and then also the three-year warranty that we're going to extend to uh, a 10-year warranty by filling out their little survey and uh, giving them all my personal information. But hopefully that helps you out. If you plan on doing something like this yourself, uh, if so, or even if you're not, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. That goes a long way to help YouTubers like me. It's also the reason why we do this and why we keep doing it. So. If you ever find a YouTube video helpful, be sure to reward that YouTuber by giving him a thumbs up or subscribing or even sharing that video. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.